Long ago, there was an evil black jewel that fed on the wishes of people, turning their desires into power. This dark jewel gave birth to many evil spirits who then tormented the good creatures of the world. Then, just when it seemed like the evil sp the spritelings of the sacred forest ensnared the black jewel and hid it away deep within their ancient ruins. But over time, those events were all forgotten, and one day, a greedy treasure hunter stole the jewel from the ruins. Oh, free at last! I'm chock full of power! I think I'll turn all of this greedy sap's jewels into evil spirits! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Valkor, and welcome to Let's Play Wario World. Wario World was a game for the Nintendo GameCube that not a lot of people seem to actually know about. It was one of my favorites when I was younger, and so here's hoping it uh, still holds up to the test of time. This won't necessarily be a 100% run, but I'll do my best. Without further ado, let's get right into the first level of Excitement Central, the first world. Welcome to Greenhorn Forest. Let me go over a few things with you really quick. Every single level in Wario World has eight treasures for you to find, alongside a gold statue and several red jewel fragments. The final thing you'll have to collect is five Spritelings. You might notice that there are three stamps here. You get one stamp for beating the boss, one stamp for completing a statue, and one stamp for collecting all of the treasures. And these Spritelings down here are those little light bulbs. Wario World's a bit of a platformer beat-em-up, and it actually was a really decent-looking game for its time. These are the first enemies we're uh, ever going to really encounter. They're Magons. This is a big Magon. Magons are going to kind of be the basic grunts of the world. This button is going to be our first example of a treasure. The treasures are found by hitting a button and then finding its matching panel on the ground. You can collect treasures to activate games or transfer to your Game Boy Advance. There's gonna be games from the WarioWare game for the game I don't know what I own or used to own. I believe it's gone missing, actually, unfortunately. This is a Spritling here. Wario's going to scratch his butt very quickly. Spritelings give useful tips. Wario, hi, I've been waiting for you. I'm one of the Spritelings of the forest. I have really bad news. That evil black jewel you stole is sucking up all of the negative greed energy swirling around in your castle. And terrible things are starting to happen. Honest! If you want to survive, press the A button to jump and press the B button to punch. Also, press the B button to pick up and hurl KO'd monsters. Track this up, okay? He's gonna go over just a couple basic controls with you. Um... The B button is to punch, A is to jump. You jump a little, you can short hop, you can full hop if you hold it down some more. Some of the platforming in this game can get a little bit difficult. This is going to be our first example of a gold statue piece. Uh, if you complete the gold statue, you get half a heart fragment, which can be very useful. There's just some more magons here. You can hold the L button to uh, um, suck up coins off the ground. You also um, can pick up any big enemies like those big magons there. Now you might hear that sparkling right there. That's a uh, good indication that a gold treasure piece is around. A gold statue piece, pardon me. And these guys are just gonna respawn uh, fairly infinitely. If you rotate the control stick quickly while you have a big enemy in your hand, you'll do this swing move. You can release them by pressing A or B. You'll notice if you press one of these buttons down, you'll hear it start making a bit of pulsing sound. That's a good indication for where these treasures are gonna be located. 
chests are just able to be punched open. Sometimes they contain money, sometimes they contain garlic, which is the health currency for Wario. Eating garlic keeps him his health back. Your final option for big enemies is just to charge up and throw them. Which works just as well as any of the others. There's a yellow thing up there. The switch is located down here. We'll eat all this money up very quickly and then go get the yellow treasure. There we go. If you hear kind of a noise, it's a Spriteling trapped in a box. I fell. Um, the Spriteling tips can be useful sometimes. They're not necessarily always. There we are. No, Wario, why? You can also um, dash with the R button. If you jump during a dash, it'll do that nice little spin thing. Um, uh, pressing R when you're in the air to the ground pound. You can also dash uh, by holding down the B button, but I find the R button a bit easier. Finally. Four Magons. We'll just ignore that one for now. There's a Spriteling right here. Listen, eventually you're gonna have to deal with the stone doohickey that sits on the goal. To get rid of it, you've gotta collect a certain number of red diamonds. Below every ground hatch is a sub-level that holds one. Jump and then press the R button to do a ground pound. You can crash through most hatches. For this area, you only need 30 diamonds. There's nothing quite back here. It's a really pretty looking game for the GameCube, in my opinion. So, anytime you have a glowing hatch here, it means it hasn't been explored yet. This one's going to be easy enough, it's just simple platforming. Um, oftentimes, as I fail it, oftentimes there will also be a gold piece located down here. I'm not having this much trouble in uh, my test recording already. So you only need to collect three of these red diamonds for this level. Um, but we'll probably be collecting all of them, just because all the gold pieces are incredibly helpful health-wise. This man is a garlic dispenser, as he's about to tell us. Garlic! Don't you love garlic? Delicious garlic restores health! Listen, you big oaf, if you've got the courage to take me on, I guess it's okay to sell you garlic. Uh, thank you, sir. So if you punch him, you get a garlic piece. His price actually goes up every single time. So, be wary of using it too much. I obviously have uh, full health, so I'm not gonna need it too badly. There's another gold piece right there. I definitely wanna pick up. And miss that jump. Wario. You can move the camera with the C stick, which can be helpful. Can I just triangle jump? There we go. Got another red diamond. We're already uh, two thirds of the way if we were not going for 100% on this level specifically. But I figure it's the first level. I should probably go for 100%. There's another Spriteling. Or you're using the B button correctly. Hold down B for a dash attack. Hold down B and then release it for a Mega Toss. All things I've already explained to you. Now this right here... I thought I saw. Never mind. Another uh, ground hatch right here for us. We're gonna have to make some stairs here. That's actually going to be fine. We should not just have one more. And then quickly platform over. Garlic here if we needed it. We now have all of the red diamonds we would need to get to the stone doohickey and fight the area boss. But we'll be uh, going through some more here. Leave over here. Yes, there's the bunny hop. Uh, the bunny hop used to ground pound on to get a nice boost. These are Crackles, our first instance of a flying enemy. We'll get to them in a bit. Nice gold treasure piece up here. This is going to be the red diamond piece for this area. You could break all of these for coins if you wanted to. It might not be the worst idea in the world. But they don't drop a lot of money, so... No need to do it too much. More Crackdolls. They will pick you up and try and spin you around, but you can wiggle out of them if you spin the control stick fast enough. He's just gonna fall to his death. More platforming right here. Nice 
gold statue, dude. More big magons. Green switch. Jump. Hey, we made it. The spin to win move is uh, very good. I think it's actually got some silly name like Whirly Do or something like that. You can also pick up these statues and use them for any special moves if you'd like. But I don't think it'll be necessary. Here's the light ring, which here's our first uh, Triceratops. He's special in that he becomes invulnerable when he charges forward red, and he also can't hit him through his club. But he's not too hard to take out. That's all we have to do up here. You can probably see that the light green pad down there is now holding a treasure because we hit the button. And that's all we have to do up here. Ah, I fell. Here's the regular green treasure. Hey, you come down here anyway. There's another Triceratops over there. There's another Garlic Man. Gold statue. Gotta make sure you climb up all the trees and fully explore. Wario has a bit of a uh, collect-a-thon. You can actually uh, take this stone head and drop this on their heads. They're angry, though. Hey, get out of here. And use him to hit the switch here. And we'll finish him off. The light blue treasure is on our way, I believe. We'll check down this pit. Uh, treasures will never be located in pits, if I remember correctly. This is a glue glob. First time we're gonna see this. It's a little awkward to actually position around and try and use. It looks like we're good here. You know, my test recording, that did not go uh, very well. <laughs> More garlic that we don't need. It's fine. Big Magons are not much of a threat. I do hear a sprite, like... Wario, can you get up there, buddy? Ah, you were up there, Wario! Wario, why? Wario, Wario. There's the light blue. There's more Crackles. Finish two birds with one stone. Two birds with one bird, rather, I suppose. Careful, Wario! All of the cliffs and deep chasms around here are really, really dangerous. If you fall, you'll land in Unithorn's Lair. Scary. You'll lose coins as long as you're in Unithorn's Lair, so if you fall in, you'd better hurry up and find the escape spring before you go broke. Uh, so bottomless pits in this game do not have the death penalty, thankfully. You fall into a Unithorn's Lair, which are kind of spooky little purple demons that are going to try and eat all the coins from you. I'll take it over dying for falling into a pit, but, uh, it can be bad. I'm not going to purposely fall in there right now, just for your amusement, I'm sorry. I might fall in, though. Hello, Crackles. This bridge is going to break, but we made it. There's the last Spriteling. Hey, there's the goal, Wario. If you found enough red diamonds, the stone doohickey blocking the way will vanish. If not, the bye-bye balloons can take you back to the start point. Up ahead, the diamonds you need will appear more frequently. If you want to know how many you have, just press start slash pause and check your inventory screen. Okay, okay. Inventory screen will show you all you've collected so far. We're only missing one more piece of the gold statue, which is awesome. We're missing two treasures, and we're missing one diamond, I believe. No, two diamonds. Okay. There's the student day. Yeah. The bye-bye balloons are right there. They'll take you back to the start of the level, which is not necessary for us at this point in time. We'll fall down here to get one of our last diamonds. I don't believe a gold piece is located here. No, just a diamond. We'll get out of here. And continue punching our way through. More Magons. And a Triceratops. We'll deal with them like this. Easy enough. You should do your best to get money, because you might have need of it at some point. 
Here's the purple switch for that um, purple pad we saw earlier. We're gonna have to go back and get that. I don't believe there's anything over here. It's like a triceratops. Oh, he's angry! Spin to win! How many can we get here? 20. Alright, that's not that bad. We'll hop down this for the last red diamond we're missing. And the last gold statue fragment. So there's that stamp polished off right there. Now we simply need to go get the last bit of treasure. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. There's no crouch button. This is a unique enemy uh, that we haven't seen yet. It is the Ankiron, and he has a cannon on his back, if you haven't noticed, and he fires bombs. Usually the best way to deal with him is to pick up a big enemy or one of his bombs. He doesn't really want to die right now, but now he's dead. Those, those bombs will explode. Ow. That's the blue treasure. Yeah. So here we are in the Unithorn's lair. You have to punch these boxes and find the escape spring. Thankfully, I did in time. There's our last treasure. We're just going to give the treasure complete stamp. I don't actually have my Game Boy Link table on hand, so I can't exactly show off the things. Also, it's only on the Game Boy screen, if I remember correctly, so... I'm recording this off of a Wii. This is going to be the boss door. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first boss of Wario World, Green Fist. Bosses are a bit unique in that you can't just beat the heck out of them to deal to get rid of their hearts. You're going to have to usually do special things for each of them to deal with them. They usually involve one of your big moves. So for Green Fist here, we're going to knock him down and then do one of our special moves. And he'll knock out one of his boss hearts there. And he's going to get angry and chase us! Circle strafe to win! Circle strafe to win! To throw him off the edge for this one. That's another one of his hearts done. He's gonna move really fast now. We're alright though. Oh no, Wario, pick him up. There we go. Finish him off with a spin to win. We got 21. I'll take that. And Green Fist is vanquished. He's going to drop a lot of coins when he dies, so make sure you eat them all up. You get extra coins at the end of every level for how many punches you threw, which is kind of nice, I suppose. That's going to be one gold statue completed out of the eight you can get. So you can get four extra hearts, I believe. I think it's only eight. Should be. So we have an extra half heart here, and the second level is going to open up. Which is nice. That's Greenhorn Forest 100% complete. Now, I'm gonna go show you what you can do here. We'll explore our little hub world a little bit. It's not a big hub world, but it's kind of charming. I like the music. I, if there's one thing I can gush about, I love the music in this game. It fits Wario very, very well, if I can say. A lot of it's very funky. If you fall in the water, you're gonna go back to the main area. Which is kind of funny. These are where you can play the Game Boy Advance games if you have your Game Boy hooked up. I don't have mine hooked up right now. I will try and get it hooked up at some point and see if there's a way for me to capture it. Linking to Game Boy Advance, we don't have it. None of these are gonna do anything. This is a very big ominous chest right here. I'm not sure what it does. We can scare the birds away. Oh my god, it's next gen. The birds fly away when we get near. It was a call of duty, you know? Like what you couldn't tell. Um. That aside, I do believe that's going to be all for this episode, guys. This is our small little hub world of the Treasure Square. 
And next time on Warrior World, we're going to be going into the second level of Excitement Central, Greenhorn Ruins. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.